Uh, the experimentation and the focus on flavor. We do, we focus on every step of the production process from milling, malting, mashing, fermentation, distillation, maturation, blending. We challenge ourselves. We do a lot of different styles of whiskey. There's so much flavor to be experimented with. And, uh, and our team led by Alex Chasco, a master distiller, a master blender, really pushes the boundaries of what is possible in whiskey, not just Irish whiskey, but in, but in whiskey. And the six or over 600 awards and world's best in three categories really helps cement that we're doing the right thing. Yeah, we focus. We like to be a premium Dublin distilled Irish whiskey that focuses on flavor. That's, you know, looking at all these different elements, like as a, I guess, as being opposed to a single malt producer, we do single grain, we do single pot still, we do fantastic blended whiskies. So we do a range of different whiskies, but primarily the, the focus there is on, on flavor. So modern production of practices. You know, we like to be inspired by the past of Irish whiskey, but confident to forge a new future for the category. We like to be known as a world-class whiskey that just happens to be from Ireland, as opposed to being defined by Irish whiskey. And let's be honest, you know, that, that is currently globally still a few brands, but we're seeing tremendous growth in the category and we want to be able to lead that. Well, that, that's a hard one. So the, the Whiskey Life Prague, that's why I'm in, I'm in Prague today, one of the key questions people come up, they're going to come up and they don't know anything about tealing, they're gonna say, I want to try the best. It's my job to ascertain what that best is for them. You know, people have a very strong opinion about peated whiskey, smoky whiskies. So if I think in my head that is the best, the fear is that I lead with that. If they don't like it, they're probably gonna walk away. So I want to try and find out what works for them. So if they like sweeter whiskies, okay, what's kind of sweet, caramel sweet or fruit sweet? If they like a spicy whiskey, like a rye, let's find something for you. If you like a smoky whiskey, you know, you like scotch single malts, we have a range of that. We are lucky enough to have that range, so we can find that. So yeah, an extra line of questioning for me at the show, but it's about asking what the customer, you know, likes. There's no such thing as a best whiskey. There's what you prefer, and it's my job to find that out. It depends, it depends on the mood. You know, I, I have a time and a place for, for all whiskies. You know, I, I've always been passionate about whiskies, you know, all kinds of whiskies from around the world. I love the category and there's a lot of experimentation, but yeah, there's sometimes a cast strength whiskey is fantastic. There's a, so much flavor at cast strength because the two biggest carriers of flavor is fat and alcohol. So if you've got a non-chill filtered whiskey at a high ABV, there is likely going to be a lot of flavor there to really convey, but sometimes a whiskey at 40% over ice is what I'm looking for. Probably, you know, when I'm watching a movie or something like that, relaxing and unwinding, but at a tasting, yeah, you're trying to pick out the nuances and, and the depths. There's 3,000 flavor components in whiskey. You're gonna get some of the more alcoholic driven notes at car strength, but when you start to add water, you'll get some of the more softer notes as well. So yeah, it's, it's a process. Being at car strength allows you to manipulate that ABV a little bit by adding water. Uh, but yeah, it depends on my mood is the, the answer to the question. I mean, it, it's gonna be a tealing because I have to say that, but I, I do have a desert island whiskey. You know, one of those whiskeys that you always take to a desert island. It's a bit of a unicorn to find now, uh, but it's the tealing 24 year old. So it was a fantastic whiskey, but then that was cemented. So we released it about 2016. In 2018, it was cemented as world's best single malt. So when it won that award, it disappeared off secondary markets. It was gone. Everyone bought it up. So I managed to get two bottles. I opened one on my wedding day. Fantastic. You know, drinking with my wife and my family and Alex Chasco, you know, the master distiller. So that's a fantastic whiskey. And I've got one bottle that I'd like to be able to share with my kids one day. So that's my desert island whiskey that is just infinitely memorable. Uh, so yeah, I'll go with the Teeling 24-year-old.